Ciao, welcome back. Hello. In today's episode of Film Diaries, I'm thinking about calling this series Film Diaries because we are going to talk about all things film and photos. I have three main things on the agenda for us and I want to share the topics already with you so that you'll be able to skip around because there are going to be timestamps below as usual. So the first topic is the most exciting one and this is the reason why I wanted to start with this one and it's going to be a podcast interview with Darcy Benincosa. You know her podcast is Play Brave Podcast. I have been listening to this podcast for many many years i have already done an interview with her last year it's linked on my website i'm going to link it down below and i'm also going to link the new podcast episode that we are going to record later today so you're going to see snippets of it in this video and you'll find the link in the description box below i am very excited the title of this podcast episode is going to be the power of presets which is already very exciting and we are going to talk about the portrait 400 presets that i created and we are going to share more about editing tips and many other film related and photo related stuff very excited about it i can't wait it's now almost 1 pm and the call is at 6 pm rom time for me so i'm very excited the second topic that i'm going to share with you in this video is signature size session refinement so basically i have three signature style sessions that i'm doing this week with three different clients of course and i have already done these ses sessions with them i am now at the stage where i am refining their presets so i'm going to share some snippets with you because i find this pro process very useful and inspiring so i hope it will inspire you as well and it's going to be helpful the third thing <laughs> brace yourself, I am going to continue making the photo album with the photos from Galicia. By the time you see this video, the first episode of the Galicia trip is going to be live. It has taken me a few weeks to get the videos ready because I had a lot of photos and a lot of film to process along with the many videos. Like these are more than a hundred photos and these are just the digital photos from the first three days it's going to be a lot but these are some of the most beautiful photos that i have taken so far i've taken this with my fuji x and v and i emulated sort of the look of film i say sort of because as mentioned before i i bought and brought with me my new Seconic light meter and I still need to perfect and improve how I meter for the look of film that I like. So it was still too dark in the shadows for my taste. So today, earlier today, I went out for a long walk and I brought my Seconic light meter and my Mamiya 645 and I shot a roll of Portra 400 trying out a new metering method that I'm testing that is something that I would like to share in this video but I fear that it's going to be too long so this first topic it's either going to be a bonus one in here or into the next you're going to see that in the next Film Diaries video I hope it makes sense I am so excited, I cannot wait to start and yeah i'm now going to brainstorm uh things that i would like i would like to include in today's episode as you know english is not my first language so i also get very excited when i do these kind of things so i just want to have some time to focus on what i would like to share so that i feel more prepared and more relaxed <laughs> and yeah i'm so looking forward to it and also to chat with darcy because i haven't chat with her in actually a few weeks a few good weeks yeah because I, I was away that's it let's start and yeah i'm going to take you along with me it's almost 6 p.m i'm putting my phone into airplane mode and i'm getting ready for the call which is going to be in a few minutes and yeah i'm going to clean up my desk and light a candle. Wish me good luck. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? <laughs> Oh, mom. 
almost 8 p.m. and that was a long long chat but I cannot wait for you to listen to that amazing podcast interview I am so grateful uh, that Darcy had me on the podcast for the second time it's been lovely chatting with her we shared so many helpful tips and tricks and we came up with some very magical ideas which I'm hoping we will be able to do sooner rather than later I just wanted to say thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching this clip I am going to talk to you in the morning because now it's pitch black it's very late my brain is fried I can't talk I can't think <laughs> also I'm overwhelmed with joy and when I'm very very excited and happy I feel like I cannot ex express myself properly in the best way also because I'm tired so thank you so much again check out the notes below I'll talk to you in a few seconds for you but it's going to be a good night rest for me and very good dinner dinner very good dinner glorious dinner glorious shower and evening on the sofa so craving these things thank you so much I'll talk to you tomorrow good morning buongiorno it's actually not the morning, it's almost 2 p.m. and I have done a lot of work today, earlier today, and I am now going to work on a signature session for one client and in one hour I'm going to have another signature session, so another call with another client. So you are going to see me now tweak a catalog. Sorry, there's my dog sleeping under this desk and she's snoring. I yeah i do have the best colleague yeah so you're going to see me tweak her preset for the first client and then why am i always spending hours cleaning my glasses yeah and then you're going to see me uh on the call with the other client i have my coffee and i'm now going to start i'm also going to listen to some focus music I forgot to press record on the camera while I was on the call with the client. <laughs> but I'm so happy because she shared that she's very pleased with the presets as is, even though I am still doing, sorry, even though I'm still doing, I'm still creating a lot of local adjustments for her. So that is going to be a very seamless workflow and it's going to be very easy for her to edit. I think I'm now going to sit on the sofa and I am going to insert all of this into my new album and I'll take you with me, of course. Let's go.
so I have completed my first album and this was the last film photo that I inputted and then I started with the digital photos from the Fuji uh, X100V and I included the photos from Porto on the first day I added all of my notes and this is still Porto and this is the second day when we started our road trips and all of the landscapes were just phenomenal and <laughs> I said I, I wrote in here this gives me apocalypse vibes I don't know why but I really like this photo but it, it does give me those vibes and this is the first uh, beach it was on Costa da Morte, Praia da do Traba, Praia, no, Traba Deluxe. What have I just invented the name? My beautiful boyfriend, me, and then what's this? These were plants, I'll show you because I have more, like, I printed this many. And these were plants, of course this, um, you're going to see this photo better if you check out the video about this trip, which it is hopefully going to be online because it's taking several weeks to edit all of the photos, edit all of the footage, planning and everything and editing. And so you're going to see this better, but the colors are so beautiful. I think this one is the best one that I can show you to give you a sense. What is it tracking my eye? I hope you can see. And then there's me enjoying a bocadillo with vegan queso, which is vegan cheese. We were making this uh, bocadillo, which is a sandwich uh, for ourselves. This photo is so beautiful. You have to go and check this one out in the video. And then I included more. This was Fisterra, the end of the word for um the romans as they thought uh, this was the point where the word ended and it was also the western point of their empire and it's beautiful there's the lighthouse there this is the photo of us that a lady took and it's beautiful this is our first night out in negreira and we had vegan burgers and chips me negreira and this is uh, Saturday, our third day, and these are the last photos that I printed. Uh, this is Isla Chies, uh, just heaven on earth, beautiful place. You're not going to see many details uh, in here. You definitely want to check out the video, but definitely I had an encounter with seagulls. <laughs> and I'm going to show you another photo. Uh, of me <laughs> with one of them that was always by my side because they wanted food but of course we did not feed them and look at this island it's just gorgeous and with that I am done this is the second one that I'm doing I don't know I, I just purchased the same one because as mentioned it's linked down below I find that this is the best one that I purchased so far I have purchased other kinds of photo albums that I still haven't showed you because because I think these are the best ones this ones I am trying not to care too much about the aesthetic of the album because it's actually not my favorite vibe aesthetic for an album it's not my favorite color or what I would envision but I'm trying to uh, focus on progress and not perfection. So I'm really glad, I'm really happy that I managed to do all this in the span of a few months. It was hard work, but it's definitely paying off every time I randomly open a, a page and check out the photos. Gorgeous. I think that's it. I didn't show you the call because I forgot to record that, but I still hope that you had a pleasant time following along and I will see you in the next one with more um, film developing. I have a film room to develop, to scan and to edit and I'm also going to show you the new version of the presets and profiles that I created already, a new version. I know but I have included so much and I have improved this very very much so I'm really excited to share that with you but it's going to be in another video so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one ciao